Who doesn't like a good budget distillery? Well, let's talk about one. Welcome to the Barrel House. Tonight we are talking Green River Distillery out of Kentucky. 1885 was the original buildings. They were popular into the 20s and then Prohibition hit and uh, they went away for a while and back and forth ownership and then they went dark in 1955 till the 90s. Then they were bought by a company that nobody ever did anything with and then rebought, rebuilt and opened for bottling or for, for uh, distilling and starting their first bottles in 2016. So this is the product of that. First one came out in 2022, which was this one and this one, the uh, 90 proof bourbon and the 90 proof um, weeded bourbon. And then the uh, single barrel, um, which is <laughs> cast drink, which is fantastic. You can see the color difference. We're gonna, I got a little bit in here um, that I'm gonna try with them. I'm gonna talk about a little bit and then we're just gonna try a little bit. But the single barrel, 119 proof, absolutely amazing. And this 117.3 proof that just came out. Um, this came out late 2023. This is 2024 release. This, they just released their rye. And that just came out, I think two months ago, 2024. Um, these are all under $35. This is right around, I think MSRP is in the high 40s. And this one is right around $60. And a little harder to find. This one is hand selected by Dr. Feelgood. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm gonna say, I feel good, and then cry me a river, green river. So let's get into it and talk about it a little bit. I got a little pour left in each one. I kind of tried them, and uh, I actually started one that didn't like the video, and we're just washing our hands, doing it again, and we're gonna talk about these amazing bourbons, why you should have these in your collection as budget bourbons, or a few of them, and uh, take them to a party, barbecue, picnic, whatever, because these are great um, price. I mean, the MSRP on these, these are really good bourbons. Every one of them is at least five years. Um, I'm guessing this one to be around, right around six to seven. So it's probably one of the first ones they did. Then did a single barrel of it late. It's about a five and a half year. And I'm guessing these are all around five year. So we're gonna go with the rye a little bit. I've already, I'm not gonna go too crazy on all the flavors, except this one um, just came out. I'll, I'll put a little bit more in it. I'll probably pour a little bit more. The rye, it's just a really good rye. I wouldn't call it a high rye. It's definitely got some sweetness to it. So it's, I mean, I don't know the mash bill, but I'm guessing probably 60, 30, 10, somewhere in that range. Meaning 60 corn, 30 rye, and uh, 10 barley. That, I mean, that's my guess. And um, it's good. All these have got kind of an earthiness to them. It's hard to explain, almost a musty barrel, you know? I mean, but I love it really good that one just drinks really smooth it's just a sweet kind of spice cake you know it's just like this little bit of spice to it and some sweet to it and it just lingers and it's just it's a, it's a part of your mouth you just you want more and this is a good great actually 35 dollar rye highly recommend it and then we have just the bourbon and uh i i tried it and same thing uh really really got a nice nose a little bit almost like an apple cinnamon pie. Really smooth bourbon. Mild 90 proof. Drinks nice. I mean, it drinks nice and smooth. This is a great choice if you can't find your higher price stuff or some of your allocated stuff. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a great, like once again, for under $35, people are going to be very intrigued to try this at a party. It's got more flavors. It's very, very... Um, yeah, Green River's just, they're just a lot going on. They're, they're well done. I mean, they're just well presented. They've got a lot of flavors, and the more you let it sit, the more it opens up, and you get more flavors and more fun. So the bourbon is delicious. And we're going to take a little sip, and we're going to move on to the weeded. Now, the weeded is a great summer wheat. Great. Like, I think it hit 99 today. We've had a really hot summer in Colorado, and I know it's been hot everywhere. Except in Wisconsin, I think my dad gets rain every day. But uh, weeded, mm, corn, sweet. This is like a sweet caramel corn, really, really smooth. You know I love my sweet wheats. I love my nice, mild, mellow wheats to sit out back on the, the uh, barrel house back porch and just hang out, but it's just been too hot. 
that's good. I mean, great weeded, highly recommend it. Now you can get these at pretty much anywhere, any liquor store. This one just came out and it should be readily available at most liquor stores. I'm starting to see it everywhere. So these three, all $35 and under, all highly recommend, highly recommend um, for a budget bourbon. I'm not saying, really, like, oh, well, you know, it's not as good as this or that. I'm just saying a really good, easy to find budget bourbon. Most of these are. This distillery is fantastic. They're up and coming. I expect great things out of them. They're on the rise. Everybody enjoys them. They don't make a bad product. It's just, it's got a nice smooth flavor. This one doesn't linger as long, um, but it's still really solid. I'll do the last little bit. Yeah, you get the same, you get cinnamon. I, I taste like a cinnamon apple. I get a lot of cinnamon, a lot of like an apple flavor. Um, I mean, I wouldn't call it apricot, but a stone fruit, not 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 cherries, and not just just a nice kind of light little background. I, I'm almost getting like a campfire where you take those um, little things, you put apple into bread, you put them over the fire, you get one out, yeah, you get yourself like a little apple pie dessert, just delicious. All these are that way, and. Uh, Actually, we're gonna go to the, yeah, this is the full proof. I'm gonna actually pour a little more of this. So this one, um, very impressive, actually. I tried it earlier, and like I said, I wasn't crazy with where it was going. So we're back talking about it. And um, I mean, this has got an amazing nose. There's so much going on. There's maybe even like a light brown sugar and distant vanilla and caramel and I'm, once again I'm getting that um, I, I, this one's got a little bit more oak on it and lighter sim there's more going on more just lots of lovely flavors lovely I mean noses mm, 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 mm. got some spice on there some baking spice for sure maybe slightly peppery. I'm getting a light cinnamon. I'm getting some apple. I'm getting some oak. This is delicious. This is a 2024 release. It just came out. This is a full proof, 117.3 proof. Does not drink like that. Drinks like maybe a hundred proof. I don't need water in this. This is not hot. This has got tons of flavors. I'm still feeling it through my chest. This is delicious. This is under a $50 full proof, 117 Point three proof, I believe, and five and a half years. And for that price, this is one of my favorites this year. This is this is a must buy. This is get on your shelf, get it in glass, share it with some people, and yeah, get it in your bar. Mm, that is good. I would put that up against a lot of stuff that I have as far as flavorful. It's just a lot of body, a lot going on. Um, there's definitely like some, you know, like musty apple. Um, it's an oak, it's earthy, it's just, it's just really good. Light wood, musty. It's different. It's just, it's just got its own little bit of uniqueness and they're all so solid and so good. All right, let's go to the last one, which I just, I said earlier, single barrel select. Actually, it's not a select, it's a, not a store pick, but Dr. Feelgood picked it, which makes me laugh every time I say it. I can't say that with a straight face. Dr. Feelgood, I mean, cry me a river, cry me a river. I mean, who doesn't like Joe Cocker and, oh my goodness. That's cry me a river, I know that's not Dr. Feelgood. That is Molly Crew. So here we go. This is the single barrel. I got this in late 2023 and I haven't seen a lot of it, so it might be hard to find, but if you can find it, I, I saw it for quite a while and it kind of went away this spring, but if you see it anywhere or next year's, single barrel definitely grab this as you can see it is darker than the rest this is probably one of the first things they did when they uh, opened up and threw it in barrels so this is probably from 2016 so this is probably about a seven to eight year bourbon definitely a lot more oak oh very woody mm, i'm getting that yeah i'm getting that like a little bit of that maple brown sugar oh that is so that's got a great nose light caramel notes Still getting that kind of that musty fruit, that, that kind of just a slight apple in there. I'm not getting the cinnamon as much, but I might on the... Now I'm getting cinnamon. 
Yep, that is a cinnamon apple pie. Very woody, like if you cook something on a campfire, you know, those little breaded things, yeah? You know what? Yeah, this is very, very, very good. Um, very woody. Delicious. This is about 60 bucks. I would highly recommend it. It's got a really nice um, baking spice kick at the end. I'm getting cinnamon. I'm getting some um, caramel notes, some apple notes. It's it's just really, really good. Some baking spice. Green River. I mean, as a distillery, I highly recommend this. Highly recommend this. Um, get all of them or don't get any of them. <laughs> subscribe or don't subscribe. Um, I would love it if you did. And uh, let me know. I'm trying to do some budget distilleries and get some stuff that people can go grab that I think are really good bourbons. Try one, try them all. Um, I guarantee there's some more great stuff coming from Green River. I think they're a must. Pick a bottle. You know, you got 90 proof, 90 proof, 95 proof, 117 proof, 119 proof single barrel. This is fantastic full proof. So pick one, try one. If you like it, get another one. One a shelf, one a glass, and cheers, everybody.